station. This is Jules Grancier from ESA PU at the European National Center. How do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Cologne, this is the International Space Station. Have a good day. And let's start with the Q&A. Hello, Alexander Gerst, Hildegard Wert from ZDF. Schön, Sie oh, oh, zu sehen. It's nice to see you up there. This is Hildegard Wert from the ZDF. I'm really grateful that you're taking half an hour of your time to talk to us. And it's nice for us to see you in space like this. Ja, das ist äh, interessant. Das hat sich sehr gewandelt. So die ersten Male, als ich rausgeschaut habe, äh, äh, am Anflug habe ich schon äh, Neuseeland gesehen. And I immediately saw New Zealand, Bolivia, Chile. Wie schön die Erde ist. And you immediately see how beautiful the Earth is. Kontinente auf einmal. Das ist. You see a whole continent at once, and that's amazing. Mehr und mehr aufgefallen. And I noticed more and more. Wie zerbrechlich tatsächlich dieser Planet ist. How fragile this planet is. Wäre so dünn ist. The atmosphere is so thin when you see it from the side. It's just a little veil of, of uh, fog over it. It makes you aware of it. There's very little to separate humanity uh, except a very thin layer of air between humanity and the, the dangerous uh, space out there. Hallo, Herr Gerst. Hallo, Herr Gerst. Kirsten Ulf from the Tagesschau. Good luck on your mission. You are far away from all earthly uh, uh, events. Are you still interested in, interested in political events? And how do you inform yourself about uh, news in space? Hallo, Frau Rolf. Ja, Hello, Mrs. Wolf. Just exactly a, a, uh, an hour ago, when I was uh, on my uh, exercise bike, and I looked uh, over on my crew webpage uh, for the uh, the daily uh, events. I'm a, it's a little bit delayed, but but I'm I'm pretty well informed. I have to say, it's a lot easier nowadays than it used to be. Hallo, Herr Gerst, hier ist Hallo, Baron Eckmann von RTL. 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 Meine Frage It's nice to see you. My question is, how do you personally experience weightlessness? How is it for you specifically? In per how, how do you feel when you have no gravity? Ja, ähm, viele Dinge werden sehr viel einfacher. Many things are a lot easier, but on the other hand, a lot be become more, much more difficult. Yeah, you, you can lift things that are uh, 200 kilograms, that you can push them with your little finger. You can move effortlessly. But other things are much more difficult, such as my, my, uh, I have to drink my afternoon cappuccino out of this bag here. There are some things that are almost impossible. If you have to sort different pieces of something, they all come out of the bag at once and start floating away. You have to get used to the uh, new logistics. You, it's, everything is three-dimensional. It's not just lying on the ground. And your first impulse is to look for what you lost on the ground, but it could be floating right above you. You, you, you just lose things. That's that, that's the, one of the first things I noticed in the beginning. Hello, Herr Gerst. Hello, Michael Schinkel from Sat 1. Have you seen the uh, Cologne Cathedral? Can can you even recognize it from up there? Ja, im Moment At the moment, wir uns auf einer Umlaufbahn, we're in an orbit, ist, which is synchronized with the sun, and we're a little bit on the, the Erde. Das heißt, we're in the uh, northern hemisphere. Fliegen, ist es da dunkel. Das yes, when we fallen und den Kölner Dom habe ich bisher noch nicht. I have not seen North Rhine Westphalia. Lichter sehen können, weil wir gerade the, uh, the cathedral. Orbit, uh, fast immer im Hellen sind. Das ist gut, weil man uns von unten gut sehen kann, weil wir uh, uh, when we're in the, the when, when we're synchronized with the sun, then it's uh, we see a lot of lights, but we are also blinded by the sun. And uh, I've, uh, I have a, a, a replica.
so that I'll be able to uh, take a look at it every now and then. Richter from the DPR. My colleagues from the Children's News would like to know. Uh, would like to know which planet you would like to visit and why. Yeah, ich würde, glaube ich, auf jeden Planeten uh, mal gerne. I'd really like to go to any planet, and and the reason is. Uh, because I'm curious, but I'm hoping that even during my lifetime that humans will achieve a landing on Mars, and not, not just for curiosity, but for many other reasons as well. That there are many reasons why it would help us on, on Earth, and uh, it would tell us something about climate change and to, to find out if one day uh, the Earth would look like uh, similar to Mars. Hallo, ich bin Seruba von Logo. Wir kennen okay, ja I'm, I'm Seruba von Logo. We already know each other. Sondern mit Kollegen aus anderen Ländern. Und das auf ziemlich engen Raum. Oh, ehrlich, uh, you're not alone. Nerven die sich nicht manchmal? You're Und not alone, but you're with colleagues from many wenn du mal different, uh, haben möchtest. from many uh, different countries. And tell me quite honestly, don't they go on your nerves sometimes? And where do you go when you want to be alone? You're right. There are six of us here. We, we've trained together and we all know each other very well. And we've been together for two years. We already know what goes on each other's nerves. Yeah, so, and if someone needs to, what needs to be alone, we, we respect that. Sometimes we, we disagree, but uh, we talk about it. If you want to be alone, uh, you can go to your own uh, to your sleep cell, and uh, it's about the size of a. You can close that up. It's about the size of a, a telephone booth, but uh, otherwise, uh, it's quite comfortable up here. Hallo, Herr Gerst. Hallo, Herr Gerst. The 18th hour. How do you dream in weightlessness? Yeah, that's a good. That's, that's a very good question. I had already wondered that. Uh, the first two nights, I don't think I dreamed at all. I was completely shot. After the launch, you you have a long day and and you just want to sleep into your in your uh, sleeping bag. Yeah, and then sometimes you wake up and because you're disoriented and you have no contact with your pillow and you have to get used to that. It, the first two nights were a little bit, um, I've had better. But uh, then I, I woke up, but, but the last three or four days, uh, I found myself uh, sleeping like I sleep at home, and I even dream. But unfortunately, I don't my dreams. There was one particular good dream that I wanted to remember, but I just couldn't. Hello, Herr Gerst. Hello, Herr Gerst. We, we, we already know each other. We took a flight together as I, uh, when I uh, flew around in a rather uncontrolled way. But what I would like to know, are you, you've been away from Earth for six days. What do you really miss uh, on Earth? I think the first thing I miss is, okay, my family, first and foremost. That's a completely normal reaction. Yeah, when you're working uh, to prepare for the launch, you're very, very busy and it's very stressed. And you concentrate on the mission and you forget other things, other important things in your life. And when you're up here, you realize you're up here for half a year and you're more into a routine and you start think about other things. And I realized that six months away from my family is quite a long time. I, I, I thought, well, yes, I'll, I'll manage that. And I've been away from my family maybe two or three months, but uh, six, yes. Yeah, and you realize that you're going to miss your family. And we have very good ways of communicating. We, we write emails. We have a video conference once a week. In the lab, you don't really feel very, very far away, but you don't feel close either. It's sure to be something that I miss. Yes, no, there are the other things like an, uh, eating an apple or go for a walk in the forest. Right now, everything is new and exciting. 
eigentlich eine, eine tolle Sache. It's, it's really a fantastic thing for me right now. Das hält auch ein halbes Jahr an. And uh, according to my colleagues, this, uh, this kind of feeling lasts for uh, six months, but uh, they do say that they look forward to a real shower in the end. Hallo, Herr Gerst. Frank Hello. Kassel, Radio Köln. Die Radio Cologne. Steht an. Wie the da oben? Uh, Haben Sie schon heftig the uh, soccer uh, uh, World okay. Cup okay. is coming here. Uh, how is that working up there? Uh, would you be able to, to watch? We've already sent a request to Control Center that we'd like to watch uh, the, the matches uh, with USA, USA, Russia and Germany. We hope that it goes down, uh, to, that goes, is true for the final. We've, we've been joking about it. Uh, okay, we've already joked that we would play a match up here from Columbus to the Japanese to the Russian, uh, and then we have to convince a few people that that's actually a good idea. Yes. Guten Tag, Herr Gerst. Gries ist mein Name von Deutschlandfunk, Deutschlandfunk in Cologne. Sie ein beschreiben, was Sie heute gemacht haben auf Can you tell us a little bit what you did today? And what will you do when this uh, is over, when this interview is over? What are your plans later for today? Ja, wir haben hier schon einiges tatsächlich erledigt in den letzten We've already accomplished quite a lot in the last few days. We did some experiments. Uh, it's about the human uh, immune system. I, I took my own blood over here. It's, it's the first time that I actually took my own blood, and that's something, and, and then in zero gravity, and it was something I had to get used to. These are, of course, experiments that are very important. And, and then we do uh, ultrasound examinations, and I'm going to do some more later on. It's, it's about the cardiovascular system and arteriosclerosis, and these are things that we can examine well up here. And today, for example, in the uh, Columbus lab, we're talking, we're looking at the Oh, the growth of plants. That's, uh, we want to see which plants are more robust, uh, which grow even uh, in, during climate change. And these are experiments that I'm going to work on today. And then I'm, I'm also going to be working on the ARAD uh, Equipment where you uh, where you uh, exercise so that you don't use uh, muscle mass uh, in weightlessness. We work from in the morning, but from 6:30 to 6:30 or 7 to 7, and it passes very quickly, especially when you're new here and, and uh, you're still learning all new things. Uh, the Americans say that it feels like uh, drinking out of a fire hose, and I have to say that I agree with them. It's really fabulous up here. Hello, Benjamin Sachs from Bild. Benjamin Sachs from Bild. What was jetzt so das Highlight der ersten Woche im All? What was the highlight of your first week in space? And what disappointed you a little bit? I would say a highlight, I would have a highlight every day. I, I, I can't even uh, name them all. The, the, the launch was very impressive, not just for the spectators, but for us on board. The first time to see the Earth was just unbelievable, and it was fascinating. And you can see, uh, we have seen the, uh, the images of our launch. In der Kapsel uh, installiert hat und da sieht man, als wir you, we could see, schauen, das sieht man schon das Staunen in unseren Augen. Um, and hoffe, we can see uh, on that video that, that we, uh, our eyes are big with amazement. And I hope that that will be available for others soon. Me and my colleague Reed. Several times a day, we, we have to remind ourselves that we're floating, and that you sometimes have your coffee floating in front of you, and, and you continue to be amazed. It's never boring up here. Hello, Herr Gerst. Hello, Herr Gerst. Als Sie uns letztes Jahr gesehen hatten, hatten Sie mir erzählt, dass Sie zur Mission you had told me unter anderem vom BAP, aber auch viele that, andere. Uh, that you took music with you and including uh, that uh, some uh, 
ba uh, music by Bach. Uh, have you listened to it already? And did you take any other? I, I loaded some things from on my computer. I have a mini media kit with me, and I have some memory sticks, and I have to load them onto my computer. I've listened to a few things, more electronic uh, music right now, and it, it's sort of appropriate when you're in this capsule looking uh, down on Earth with the, listening to that music. It reminds me a little bit of Space Night, and it's... Uh, I haven't uh, unpacked un uh, back yet, but uh, that's going to happen sooner or later, I'm sure. Hello, guest, Michael Lobermeyer, Westdeutsche Rundfunk Hörfunk. Um, Sie haben ja eben schon den Dom gezeigt, soweit ich weiß, you haben Sie auch eine Maus mit showed us the uh, cathedral, and as I, far as I know, you also took uh, uh, a mouse, and you're going to come back on uh, November 10th. Uh, do you realize that you are going to be uh, like a national uh, relic when you return? Uh, it's after such a day, uh, return to Cologne was my piece of uh, Cologne, and we'll put it back in the, the cathedral. Übrigens ist die Maus hier dabei. The mouse is here. Perhaps you can see it. Natürlich fachgerecht auch. Okay, we, of course we, uh, we dressed it appropriately so that it, it yes. Oh, I, I, I might even uh, take it on my uh, uh, EVA and uh, see if uh, that will work. So we had to dress it appropriately. It signaled me that it arrived well. Und freut sich auf den Aufenthalt hier. And it's looking forward to its uh, time up here. Stefan Beuting, Dira von Wissen. Hallo, Herr Gerd. Hello, Mr. Guest. Stellen, aber I'd like to gerne wissen, welche Frage ask you a question. Gibt's eine Frage? I'm allowed to ask you, but uh, I'd like to find out what question you would ask yourself. Did you ask yourself a question up there that you never asked yourself on Earth? Hmm. I have to think about that one. At the moment, I ask myself questions all day long. How's this machine work? How does that equipment work? There's a lot to learn up here still. Uh, uh, but they're the experiments uh, through which I want to discover more. Uh, I'm, I'm more focused on the experiments and uh, how we can uh, treat uh, diseases on Earth. And uh, we, we're looking forward to find the answers to a lot of questions, and I find that very exciting. And if I think of anything else, I'll be happy to share that with you. You seem awfully relaxed. Is that... Uh, is that deceiving, or, or, or is that, uh, you know, is that deceiving? And who's going to win the World Cup? It's not deceiving. It's really a relaxed atmosphere, atmosphere here. But we do work a lot. But it's in a relaxed atmosphere. But it's important because we're going to be up here for six months. It's not. We have to remember that this is not a risk-free environment, and we have to be prepared for any emergency. And we have to be prepared to be awake for 24, 48, 48 hours. So you, so you have to, uh, you have to uh, be uh, stress-free. Otherwise, you won't be able to face any emergency. And that's why it's so wonderful to have such a wonderful crew. And we work well together. We just had lunch together, and uh, it's it's sort of like a family up here. And as for the World Cup. I think the best one, the best team will win. I'm sure, I'm sure you can imagine uh, what, what my heart desires. And this closes the uh, press conference. Thank you very much, Alexander Gertz. We're going to lose the signal in just a few seconds. Yeah, thank you to you and uh, all the best to you and have a nice, have a, a lovely summer day. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.